I don't suppose you could give me a sample of your brain tissue for study purposes. Huh. It's ironic that the students who do the best get sampled the most. And then they're not the smartest anymore. Well, at any rate, today we're studying something everyone can understand. An innocent little diversion called building an IS network and sending spine crawlers to the other base. We sped up the video to get through the first part so we can go directly to the carnage. We're droning rapidly. We need enough drones to saturate the mineral line and also have extras to build spine crawlers with. We have gas and a spawning pool down. We'll be able to go from a hatchery to a lair soon because we need the lair to build the Nidus network. And that queen will come in handy in the near future. Once we have the Nidus network down, we'll load that up. And meanwhile, we'll have sent an overlord up to the other base to try to find an unoccupied corner where we may be able to spawn a Nidus worm and get this show on the road. So we'll slow this down now, pick out about half of the drones and the queen, send them into the Nidus network, and then go spawn a worm up at the other side's base. Now you can hear that worm spawn, they can't, and looking at Team 2's vision, they don't know it's there. They should probably be thinking about the possibility, but so far it's a surprise. Team 2 is sending, a, Player 2, excuse me, is sending a little army down here to attack us. It will see the Overlord, but it won't be able to see up onto the... Uh-oh. Hear that? Everybody heard that. Now, Player 2 ought to know there's a worm and there's some kind of damage inbound. The Queen is going to lay down a creep tumor. It doesn't have to do that. The creep will spread anyway, but you get a lot more creep with the creep tumor. And the Queen can fight off, at least to some extent, any initial force attacking the drones as they try to get the spines growing. Um, unfortunately, if there was any doubt in Player 2's mind, such as it is, about whether we are here. It's gone now with that overlord. The queen is going to express her displeasure and we'll get our drones uh, building as quickly as we can because this army is coming back. Putting down that creep tumor is the first thing we can use a creep, excuse me, queen for in this setting. The other is to get up here and make a noble sacrifice to buy time for the spines. And that's what this queen will do now. A third thing the queen could do, if she had enough energy and if she survives the initial brawl, is use the transfuse ability to strengthen any spines that are near death. And you can look at a spine and see if blood's flying out of it and there's red pool around it that is in trouble. And a queen could transfuse that spine crawler and, and give it new life, basically. What we have here for spines will drive off these roaches and then the rest of the spines will come up. And because we've still been producing down in our base, we have some more drones and another queen that can come out and reinforce us now. While we're doing that, let me talk just a little bit about some other things that you can do with the Nidus Network. I love to build Zerglings. Lots of them. Well over a hundred of them. Fully upgraded. Send them in. You need to go all the way up to um, Hive Tech to get the full spine pool upgrades. And your opponent, unless they're fairly clueless, probably won't let you get that far. But if you can get a lot of Zerglings and swarm a base, that's loads of fun. Now, if you rally in the middle of the base, they'll come out one at a time and they can be picked off. If you get a hundred unpicked off Zerglings right in the middle of the base and let them run around, that cause all kinds of havoc. It does, of course, make more sense for you to build a well-balanced and sensible army and use that with the Nidus network. Uh, right now, I'm not showing much sense. I must have gone and got a sandwich or something. I was going to pop these up and leapfrog them ahead of the other spines. It would have been wise to wait until the other spines were up to do that. And then move them forward, put them down. Then bring the back spines forward and put them down and move into the base that way. But, you know, some days are better than other days. What else can you do if you don't want to charge up someone's ramp in the heat of the day and gnaw through their bloody bowels in a straight up fight? Well, you could burrow, research burrow, then research tunneling claws for your roaches and sneak them in underground. They regenerate while they're underground, so you can pop, attack, burrow, regenerate, pop, attack, burrow, regenerate. That's always fun. 
you can burrow your infestors, and with enough infestors and plenty of energy, you can get near an enemy emplacement or a group of siege tanks and uh, throw a whole lot of infested Terran eggs, and when they come out a few seconds later, they'll do a lot of damage. Even just one egg on a mass of siege tanks would have the siege tanks shooting at it and then splash damaging each other, so that'd be a lot of fun. Burrow's one way to do things. Let's get back to Desert Oasis, though, and just look at this carnage for a minute before talking more about this. Good heavens, what do you do if you're player two? I think you can't do anything. And the reason you can't do anything is there is... One other tricky way to get into an opponent's base without a straight-up fight at the door is by air. You have overlords. You can upgrade them to carry units with ventral sacks upgrade. You can move them at a decent pace with the new price care pace upgrade. Get those upgrades. You can load your overlords up and do a drop just like you do if you're carrying with medevacs. And that can be a little unexpected since it tends to be underused and be fun also. You should be aware that although you'll have one Nidus network in your base when you're initially loading, you can put Nidus worms everywhere you have enough money to place them in vision. You can attack a base with more than one and use one as a decoy. You can put them all over the map. Be aware though that if the enemy destroys your Nidus network while it's full, you lose everything that's in it. Unloaded if it's about to fall. And of course you can put your units into and out of worms, in and out, in and out. Here comes a geyser of gore! Boy, if this was ID Raw we were playing, he'd be cussing now.